I am a Tufts NEC student, so I'm really interested in both music and code. And um, today in my project, I started out working with Lisa's team. I, I know Lisa. Uh, and I started out thinking about how to visualize music in the best way we can to, so that other people can really experience it that don't have musical backgrounds. So what I ended up realizing is it would be very interesting because I am into composition. It would be interesting to go the other direction and see uh, how we can take a, a, some kind of visualization and turn that into music somehow. Uh, that could enable people to create music uh, in a very broad sense, and um, you'll see some of that. So I thought the first step to doing that was to basically create melody lines using contours, and so that's what I did uh, for the hackathon. So I started out with a basic PNG file which has this random line that I made. And I have a few examples of these. And so what this, uh, what I coded a thing in Python which takes the PNG file in and then has to figure out what the contour of that line is just based on the image. So what I did was I used a, a simple hill climbing algorithm which just starts at the most left point where the melody would start and then it slowly increments in every direction and sees which direction is the best. And so um, once that was uh, complete, I could then map out some points that were uh, inside the melody line. And I chose to recreate uh, a melody based on the sort of the slopes of the lines. So uh, in the vertical, you have um, basically the pitch distance per pixel and in the horizontal you have the beats per pixel so that's the time domain and frequency domain. So here I have a few outputs that I generated. So here's a simple uh, contour and from that I ran the code and can see. So this this melody line, uh, it's in C major. It goes up, then it goes back down, then it goes back up. Oh, is this a bit small? And then it goes back down. And so uh, I also chose within the beats to randomize the rhythms. So you have either uh, quarter note or dotted eighth, sixteenth, or sixteenth dotted eighth, uh, or just a rest. And so then, I created a MIDI file from all of this, and here's that first contour. Oh, uh, the audio. Okay. Here's the. Oh, this is. Uh, so that's. Oh, oh this is a. Okay. Yes. So that was the first one that I did. And then I did uh, that. That one seemed to be the most natural because I think that, at least, what I innately did was I thought that more curved melodies would be more natural to the ear. So I started out with that. I also made a super linear one, which looks like, um, which looks like this, <laughs> and that's creative. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, and that outputted this nice <laughs> scale, <laughs> which looks great. Um, yeah, so you can hear that here. Mm. 
Might, I think it went too low, actually. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, <laughs> and then, well, cool. Um, so then I did one other one. So this, those past two ones were, they were based on a diatonic scale, uh, which I thought would sound the most natural. So all I did was snap everything to the seven notes um, in the key. But then I uh, created one where it was just kind of random accidentals in the chromatic scale. And so I can show you that here. Here's the MIDI. Oh, we'll see the MIDI. So here is other random contour. And so it stays on kind of a plateau. Sounds whole tone actually, which might have to do with the pixel resolution. Because um, I split everything up. I think it was a whole step to two pixels, something like that. So from these three melodies, you can kind of see that the technique of following a line works pretty well. And what I'd like to do with this, I, I think it could be applied to a lot more things. Um, you could definitely have multiple melody lines that are analyzed from people drawing uh, things on top of each other. And I also think that you could have a library of little uh, fragmented lines that you could drag in that create specific sounds. So it's kind of a platform for composing that makes composing super accessible to uh, people that don't really have musical background. So. Thanks.